Hello everybody, it's Chibi, and today I'm here to bring you a manga chapter review of Moggy chapter 261. So, this is a chapter that's kind of what I expected to see when it came to this chapter. Hakuru and Aladdin are kind of just there, self-reflecting, awestruck, and just looking back at their mistakes. Like, you could tell in this chapter... They're just looking at the mistakes and the decisions they have made of what has costed so much in this little fight they had. And to see how Aladdin and then Hawker do, they are both just chatting in this chapter. Like, it was a very powerful chapter just talking. Like, it was a very powerful chapter just to see these two talk. And the way they were talking, for instance, when Hawker was like, is there a chance he can ever come back? And when he's like, I'm assuming you're talking about Judar. He's like, yeah. And he's like, no, I, he's gone. There's nothing I can do. And then you I had it to where Hakuru's like, even if you were to die? And he's like, yeah. And it was really sad to see how Hakuru was just, you know, really connected with Judar. Like, you know, he was fine with losing his arms and legs. But he wasn't fine, as you could see, with losing Judar. He wasn't fine with that at all. And he realized that he, see, he lost someone else he actually kind of cared about. And to top it all off, I mean... He, the exact same thing he did to Alibaba. He did the exact same thing that Aladdin did. So both of them were in a situation in this chapter to where they're self-reflecting and realizing what they really did, what the issues they caused. And to see that, it just goes to show you the maturity and that war is not really that good. Like, the, the pain in war, too. Like that That's what this chapter really goes to show you. When you're having a battle and stuff like this, there's a lot of loss. And that's clearly what we lost in this chapter. We lost Alibaba and Judar, and it's just, it's sad. Because we know Judar, he's done. He, he, he's done. As I've already covered in my last chapter of you, it's very apparent Judar is dead. And with Alibaba being in God knows where, another dimension, it's almost next to impossible for him to come back to. Because you have it toward Aladdin. He has all the knowledge of the previous world. He has all all the knowledge but in all this knowledge he has he has nothing on this other dimension so Alibaba is pretty much screwed over too at this moment so yeah the chapter is just a very sad chapter it's like confirming all these different things that's happened this past couple chapters like it's confirming that these two characters are pretty much out of commission for majority or the remainder of Moggy until it's done and what's even crazier I'm wondering about is since you had it to where Judar was cast away and he's floating in space and stuff. I wonder if his, you know, Rook would actually come back into the flow. I mean, once he dies. Like, you know, if he's going to be flying out there in space. I wonder if he's going to be, like, forever trapped out there. Is the Rook going to be forever, like, pushed back? Or is it eventually going to be able to connect with everybody else? Because that's a cruel fate, if you think about it. It's a really cruel fate to be by yourself and die alone like that. And then not being able to join the Great Flow where King Solomon combined everything with his own will and so to see that I wonder if that's also what that means too so that's another tragic fate if you think about it, what happened to Judar so oh yes at the end of the chapter Hakuru declares he has not done he has not done fighting even after losing so much he is not stepping down for what he wanted to do and he is going to move over to his original plan and you see this mysterious new character introduced at the chapter at, at the end of the chapter and I'll get into some fury crafting in a moment you kind of see in this chapter how Hakuru doesn't back down after losing so much I mean he's already lost so much doing this war and this fight and stuff like that that he's not willing to back down because he's just came too far and to see how he's mature like this and still continuing to go after what he's out to do, I actually respect Hakuru even more as a character. Even though he's an evil bastard and he, you know, pretty much killed Alibaba and then Judar got cast aside kind of because of his actions, still the point is to see how he continues to want to go towards his goal, I'm happy to see something like that because I'm glad he didn't just have a quick changeover at the end of the last chapter to this chapter. He's going to still continue on. But the big question is, at the end of this chapter, a new character is introduced. And that right there, I'm thinking like, what? Who in the hell is that? This new character that was introduced at the end of this chapter, I want to assume I'm Fury Crafting right now. I'm just Fury Crafting. I'm assuming that is Hakuru's mother. I'm assuming. I, I know the hair color is different. Yes, I know the hair color is different. I saw the white hair and the black hair. But the way the smile was done at the end of the chapter, it reminded me a lot of how Hakuru's mother was, the way she smiled through the majority of the series. I remember binge watching, I remember binge reading Moggy and then seeing that smile. And that smile reminds me a lot of his mother. So I wonder if his mother is still alive. Because, I mean, 
the last time we saw her, she was ahead and she exploded and she smiled, so it made me assume she wasn't dead. So it's possible that that could be Hakadu's mother being there, because he's like, he's saying in this chapter, I was waiting for you to take a move. I'm guessing your angle now is to attack me since I'm kind of weak, and that's kind of what Hakadu was saying. So this person's not probably on Hakadu's side, probably working for their own mission, their own goal. So tell me your thoughts. Did you like this chapter? Did you hate this chapter? You all have a wonderful day or not wherever you live. Please be safe. Chibi out.